Shalom, shalom, family. It's Yaki Yehuda from Yah's Assembly. And y'all know what time it is. It's a Psalm Mature Day. Today we're going over Psalms 32. Now let's get into it. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Because a lot of people and a lot of us in these days are walking around with uncovered sins. And once it gets to the point of iniquity or the guilt or punishment of sins, woe is me. Blessed is the man whom Yahuwah imputed not iniquity, the guilt or the punishment of sin, and in whose ruach or spirit there is no guile. So that word imputive is actually, you know, to calculate or to judge iniquity to him. Right, so he's saying, blesses the man unto whom you will impute of no iniquity. So you don't have no guilt or no punishment. You're blameless. You're without spot. You're a whole burnt offering. And in whose spirit there is no guile, no treachery, no deceit, no laxness, no laziness. When I kept silence, my bones waxed old through my roaring all the day long. Because a lot of people are still suffering in silence they're still carrying these burdens in silence even if you know you're all alone at least you feel all alone you still got to use your pay or your pa'a which is your words um because you gotta you gotta activate the most high you gotta get your forgiveness because if you don't ask for forgiveness of these sins, then once that sin or iniquity cup comes to the full, you will get hit from everywhere. All of your possible and most wicked fears can come upon you. And the most high, he gives us a, an open door, a way out. His, his, his hand is stretched out still, but we just won't take it. You know, we just won't go through that door. And even that word roaring, roaring there, um, that's a distress cry. If you look up the, the definition of the word, it'll let you know it's a dis distress, you know, because you need help. But when you keep silence, you cannot receive deliverance. Deliverance is in your thoughts, is in your words, is in your faith, is in being obedient. But when you're going through times of trouble, when you're struggling through things, don't keep it silent. That's the whole point of this whole uh, book. For day and night, thy hand or thy power was upon me. My moisture is turned into the drought of summer. So he, he's dying of um, dehydration. Dying of dehydration. Day and night. He's getting no rest, no ease. Whenever he keeps silent, let that thing up. Send your supplications up to the Most High. Ask for forgiveness. I acknowledge my sin unto thee. David understands these keys. And mine iniquity have I not hid. Because a lot of people try to hide these things. Like the most I can't see what you do in secret. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto Yahuwah. And thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin. So that's the guilt or the punishment of sin. That's the worst form of sins, right? Because he did what? The most I forgave him, and he's kind of speaking things that are not as though they were. Um, he forgave him because he was man enough to confess it and not just hold it in. Because I know that's one of my biggest things, you know, especially growing up. I used to always just hold everything in, hold everything in. Everybody else's problems, my problems, um, you know, whatever my shortcomings. And then it would create all these complexes in me. That it takes the most high to be able to deliver you through. That's why you're suffering in silence. Because the most I want you to give it up to him. And not be so full of pride thinking like, oh no, I'm a man. So I, I, I can handle it. I can figure it out. No, that's why he is a father. He's a righteous father. All he wants to do is, is for you to ask for forgiveness and mean it. You know. He don't want you to backslide. For this shall everyone that is godly pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found. It's imperative in this day and time 
that we seek him while he may be found because things are about to pick up like why do y'all think that biden is really bringing the troops back because the the jabs aren't going as planned more and more people are not taking it and i don't think they expected it to be to that great extent if you look at some of the other countries like australia over there in uh, europe they started bringing their military door to door as an intimidation tactic I don't think it'll be too long before the same thing comes to a, a, a neighborhood near you. Surely in the floods of great waters, they shall not come nigh unto him. Thou art my hiding place, not yourself, not in your mind. And you creating or you turning it into a prison while you're suffering alone in silence. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. So you're going to keep me in your place of safety. You will. Not me holding on to things and not being able to move forward. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. Selah. So the Most High is going to give him what? Songs of rejoicing, of gladness, of happiness, of a merry heart. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt, shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye or with my mind because we know we're focusing on a sound mind. Be you not as the horse or as the mule which hath no understanding with all thy getting get understanding whose mouth must be held in with bit and bridle lest they come near unto thee because they have no understanding. They don't they don't get it. <laughs> they just don't some people they just don't get it. They just don't get it. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he that trusteth in Yahuwah, mercy, kased, shall come pass him about. Because, yes, there's weightier matters in the law. We know about judgment. We know about faith. But the Most High is merciful. He's long-suffering. He is merciful. But you can't keep suffering in silence. That's why we grow older than what our age is. You know, in our 20s, look like we're in our 40s or 50s. Meanwhile, you know, our body <laughs> is roaring. Our mind is roaring. The stress calls. But we got too much pride. Um, and we refuse to humble ourselves and pray. And to seek the Most High. So he can deliver us from these things. But David understood these things. And he never made his own strength, his own mind, his arm, or his power. Be glad in Yahuwah and rejoice, you righteous, and shout for joy, all you that are upright in heart. Because the Most High, he didn't do what? He didn't uh, impute it. He didn't impute iniquity to him or the guilt or the punishment or the judgment of sin to him. David understood when he kept silence, everything kept getting worse and worse and worse. So what did he do? He let it out. He gave it to the Most High, and most importantly, he let it go. He kept sending his takina, or takinun, which is your prayer or supplication for favor to the Most High. And then he had amunah, or faith, or confidence, or batak to the Most High. And then the Most High, he went ahead and, like, okay, you did your part. My word cannot return unto me void. You got a mustard seed of faith. Okay. You confess your sins. You, you, you're not shedding innocent blood of bull and goats. Okay. Not guilty. Deliverance. Deliverance. So I just want to say all praises to the Mosiah through his beloved son, Yahushua Hamashiach. Peace and blessings to the 12 tribes that are scattered abroad and to the strangers that cleave to the covenant. Again, this is Yahak Yehuda from Yah's Assembly. Shalom. Whoa.